the summer months are usually the peak period for the passport office, but this year the situation is compounded with the rush to November deadline for e-passports and the numerous challenges the passport office continues to face. Minister, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs recently announced that a $200 fee will be attached to people needing a passport right away. Our Janine Noel Ferguson tells us that there were mixed views today at the passport office's Thompson Boulevard headquarters. If you're applying for a passport and need it in 48 hours, there will be a $200 charge. The wait time has also increased from 8 to 12 weeks. The changes, in particular the fee increase, garnering mixed reaction. Come on, they just put that on us. What's going on with that? $200, man, come on. And then $50 plus $200. Passport is necessary to travel, and it's a government document, so... Whatever food costs, just pay it. I just tell her rather just put it in, pay the fifty dollars, and put it in and wait the two months. The new changes, however, won't impact those who were given a pickup date before July first. A statement from the Minister of Foreign Affairs says those people, along with anyone with a medical emergency, won't have to pay the additional cost. Sean Roll found himself in a difficult situation on Monday morning. He was already at the airport with his family when he discovered that his daughter's passport was outdated. They came, yeah. Now they told me if I wanted extended as 200 I don't feel it's fair. And I should have to pay that $200. I mean, and what next? Another applicant, Christopher Nixon, said he applied for his daughter's passport months ago. You don't know, but like four months now. That's right. My big, my already I already, I already made vacation plan. And this is what I got to go through right now. Pain in the end the, the drop of my, my stuff. Nobody could receive it. Why? What is this we got going on here in the Bahamas, man? This nonsense. Nobody to take your documents. You got to be up and down burning gas, driving from this way, driving that way. They don't know how far you live in and you got to come back. On Monday, we visited the passport office. There were long lines inside. Their stories were similar. Well, it took a long time. And because I live abroad, it was a little bit more complicated having to come here. But since... I'm here and I got it done and I'm hoping to have it back this afternoon. Applied, applied, applied the, 5th, the 11th of May. The 11th of May? Uh -huh. And what they told you? Come back on the 11th of uh, July. And today? Today? What did they tell Today you? they told me come back next, come back on Friday. Too many people, too many people to be serving. They, they don't look like they can even get saved. But not everyone had the same view. Some found the process quite smooth. I mean, everything is in order. Everything's in order. Now, we did attempt to speak with officials here at the passport office, but we're told that none were available. The latest statement from the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Fred Mitchell, indicated that staff and new equipment were being brought in to reduce the backlog of some 6,500 applications. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNES Network News.